Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Kaiweet sent this to us and they asked me to take a look at it and share it with you guys and that's what we intend to do today. The soldering iron is very small and as you'll see in a little bit it fits really nicely in your hand but it is powered by USB. It does require a power delivery capable USB device but they do provide you one. They provide you with a 65 watt one that also has a USB-C and a standard USB plug on the top of it. And this particular model has five other tips as well and the power cable is also included. Inside the box you will find all of those tips, the power supply, a manual, and the manual is very thorough by the way, an extremely nice power cable, a soldering iron stand with a tip cleaner sponge and the soldering iron itself. The USB-C power cable that they provide is pretty beefy. It's very nice. It has these really nice aluminum ends. It has a little strap here to keep it all together. And as you can see, it's a pretty thick cable, but it's still very flexible. The six tips that they give you is a nice assortment, as you can see in this picture. To install a tip, all you have to do is unscrew the end of the soldering iron, put your tip in, it will snap into place and then put that nose collar back on, tighten it up, and you're ready to use the iron. The provided cap does twist lock on, so it's not gonna fall off. That'll keep your tip protected. And the stand they provide you with, nothing to brag about, but it does get the job done, and it is very portable, which is the whole point of this particular soldering iron. And it has a really nice OLED digital display that's really easy to read, and it is a two-button operation. Pressing both buttons will enter a menu mode. In that menu mode, you will find a brightness adjustment, a calibration adjustment. You will find the temperature unit adjustment. Basically, you can change it from Celsius or Fahrenheit. There is a sleep time setting. This basically allows you to set the resting temperature of the iron. There is a child lock feature, making it a little more difficult to turn the unit on. The handhold feature allows you to flip the screen upside down. That way, if you're left-handed or right-handed, it is still easy to read. There is also a voltage selection. So if you wish to change that, you can. We're just using the default settings because it came with its own power supply and then that brings us back to the brightness setting. I have the iron set to 554 degrees Fahrenheit. You can tell that because over here in the bottom right corner it says 554. That's the set point. The current temperature of the tip is at 554 degrees Fahrenheit and this long bar down here is the power meter bar that's telling us that it's using about 4% of its heating capacity to maintain this temperature. It only took about a minute to get to this working temperature by the way. Now, this soldering iron would be great for component based work. There's plenty of tips to choose from and when you're trying to work on circuit boards this would be pretty ideal but one thing i would like to know is can it handle larger objects like some wire is there enough heat in this thing to maintain the heat to be able to solder a couple of pieces of wire together if it can do that then this will be a pretty ideal tool to keep on your workbench to solder pretty much most things that you would need to solder now i've purposely set the camera up kind of weird but i wanted you to be able to see this power meter so you can see how hard the heater is working to maintain the temperature but i also wanted you to see the tip itself so you can see how fast it heats this wire up to be able to soak in some solder. So basically we're going to add a little bit of solder to the tip to help transfer the heat to the wire. We're going to put the wire right on the end of the iron and if you watch down here you can see the power meter starting to climb as it's compensating to be able to heat the tip up. We're soaking some of that heat away in the wire. We'll do a little test here. We're not quite there. It's still not quite there. Oh, there we go. And right now we're starting to wick some solder into the wire. So it handled that really well. So for that demonstration, I left it at 554 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you need a little more oomph, you may be able to raise the temperature a little bit, but it did just fine. I'm really excited about this little soldering iron. It's just very nice. Everything was well thought out. The screen is nice and turning it on and off and going through the menus is just really easy to do. The wattage is adequate enough to do a little bit of some larger base soldering, but it definitely is going to be great for comparison component-based circuitry. If at any reason I have any problems with this particular iron in the future, I will put it in a pinned comment down below. I will also put a link to this iron in the description down below. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.